guys, this is Suzanne from Backyard University asking, what does a snake hole look like? If you're out on a walk or working in your backyard and see a hole in the ground, you may not think much about it, but you might want to think again. What if that hole is a snake hole? It's important to be able to determine if you have a snake, especially if you have pets and children. Of the 3,000 snake species, only about 15% are poisonous. Of course, your chance of encountering a venomous snake will vary depending upon where you live. But even if your snake is non-venomous, being bit can be quite a traumatic experience. So how do you know if you have a snake hole? How can you tell the difference? between a snake hole and a rat or a prairie dog hole? The answer is you can't, simply because snakes don't dig their own holes. It's impossible. They have no arms or claws to dig with. Instead, they move into existing homes where previous owners have left. When snakes look for a home, they like a tight space, preferably where only they can fit comfortable. Although they have been known to share space, the average diameter is usually around three to four inches, but depending upon the snake can be much larger or as small as an eighth of an inch. A snake looks for a home that provides safety from predators, a place to hunt and lay eggs without harm from larger creatures, insulation against extreme cold temperatures and hot temperatures, the ability to conserve energy and save time by not leaving their home for food, and they usually find homes that are oval in shape, allowing them easy access, and located near stones, logs, or in burrows. Once they find their home, they usually cover the entrance with vegetation or dirt. While snakes do take over holes made by rodents, they may also live in hollowed out trees or stumps, under rocks, in wooded regions, near ponds or streams, and in urban areas where you might find them in basements and garages. Basically, they find protection from predators and close to a food source such as rats, frogs, insects, and lizards. Since snakes take over existing homes, when determining if you have a snake, you should learn the signs that a snake is living nearby. Of course, first, if you see the snake, it's a sure sign. But there are other clues like fresh droppings around the inside entrance to the burrow. A snake scat will vary depending on their diet. It's usually cylinder in shape and will differ from rodents because it has pointed tips which may contain streaks of white. You may also find things such as hair and bones inside the feces. Additionally, many types of snakes have an offensive order which may be present near their home. Additionally, you should be on the lookout for a layer of snake skin. Snakes shed their entire skin in one continuous piece around five times per year. Other clues such as tracks leading into and out of the hole, tunnels or pathways worn away through vegetation around it, or even tail drag marks where they slide over rough surfaces. All of these signs indicate the presence of a snake nearby. If you do have a snake and it's non-venomous, it could be a great addition to your garden. By eating insects such as crickets, cockroaches, mealworms, mice, and even rats. On the other hand, if you're someone who has an aversion to snakes, you may want them gone, venomous or not. If you do, we have a few simple tips. When you know the snake has left its home, you can cover the, the hole with dirt. Remember, the snake can't dig it back out. Just be sure they don't have more than one entry point. You can also cover the hole with a netting or wire, putting the snake wide open to its predators and making it leave the, the area. 
Getting rid of a snake can be trickier than just preventative. To prevent snakes in the first place, it's important to make their life as difficult as possible. For snakes, this means taking away its water source, clear all your pet's water bowls, check your property for, and your decks for any low spots where water gathers, get rid of bird baths, maintain gutters, and outdoor faucet. Just like you need to get rid of water, you must also take away their food source. Snakes prefer to hunt from their home. They hide in their holes and grab their unsuspecting prey, having dinner without ever going out. By making sure you don't have rodents, insects, or reptiles like frogs and lizards around, you will make the snake leave and find someone who does. Don't forget to plant snake-repelling plants like basil, marigolds, lemongrass, and yellow alder. Keep your yard clean. The fewer hiding places, the more likely the snake will go somewhere else. So keep your grass short, debris such as trash, fallen branches, and leaves cleaned up. Give the snake nowhere to hide. Once you know the signs of the snake, you will not have to wonder anymore. Is that a snake hole? Thanks for watching. Click the links below for more information as well as recommended products.